today we're talking about how to start a business successfully and some things that you can consider when starting your business and definitely when maintaining your business long term. We're so glad you could be with us today. So here are some insights that we picked up along the way from our own experiences and also from guests who have come on to the show. Now, it's very important when starting a business to first really think about what it is that you're good at, what it is that the customer is willing to pay for, and what it is that the customer really needs. And ultimately, when these three circles intersect, it's like a good place to have a niche. And then also, you want to consider what do you do differently than what the competition offers. It is said that 80% of businesses don't reach financial independence or those who never even reach financial success. If a business is not managed properly or if it starts up on the wrong foot, these are some of the reasons for the failure to occur. You can start a LLC, which is Limited Liability Corporation, or you can start up a S Corp or even a C Corp. An S Corp is a business that has some shareholders and it's typically smaller than a C Corp. A C Corp is a larger organization, but for the most part, we always hear about LLCs because they're the simplest and probably the easiest to file taxes and paperwork. If you want to start up a business and you don't have as much financial capital, then an S Corp could be the way to go because then you have business partners who then invest on splitting some of the cost. If you think of a business for the S Corp and C Corp organizations, it would be like a pie split up in different slices. And each stockholder or business owner has a piece of that pie. An S Corp and a C Corp allows different people to invest in the company and there's also responsibilities associated with dividends and profits that come from profit sharing. In starting a new business, when starting it, these are some of the key foundational principles. We look at this in terms of the three B's, making sure you number one, have a business plan, number two, have a budget, and number three, have a binder. A business plan can be easily done by opening up Word, the Microsoft Word, and opening up a template. They even have templates specifically for business plans in Microsoft Word. Different types of business plans will appear as a template and you can pick one depending on some of the different characteristics that you have that you want to capture in your business plan. In the business plan, certain things are captured such as mission of the business and the financial look ahead. If you have decided to start a LLC, you may or may not have another member as part of your LLC. You may be a sole proprietor. But just remember, if you do have another member for certain documentation, if it's like a 50-50 joint ownership, then it takes the other member to also sign off on any changes related to the business. You may want to have a lawyer involved in this process to make sure that your terms and conditions are right, especially when dealing with uh, partnerships. Now let's look at a budget. A budget means that you think about and write down the different expenses and revenues that you plan or that you project to occur over that year and over the next few years. You can make a choice to then include expenses and revenues in a template such as Excel and keep count and track. Another app is QuickBooks and they're really good about small businesses and making sure that there's easy ways to keep track of your receipts. The next foundational principle is to make sure that you have a binder. Ideally, if you have multiple businesses, you will have a three ring binder for each business. The binder helps to keep organization of your documents, including your business plan, your budget, if you have a business model, if you have any type of documentation associated with your business, all of that can be kept in a really large binder. 
It is so good to make sure that you have a hole punch so that if you have papers that need to go in the three ring binder, that you can punch those papers and go ahead and store your documents away. Now you may decide to have an accountant or someone to help you to file your taxes, but your binder is really good at keeping track of your receipts as well and making sure like if you have an envelope in there that you keep track of your expenses. With a business, you want to start small first. Take little baby steps and then gauge interest based on your response from your customers. With a business, you want to start small first. Engage interest of customers. How well is the business going before you go into full implementation? With small steps first for any business. Whether you have products or services, you may order a small amount of bottles and labels in terms of your products and then see how well your products move and how marketing and sales go before you buy a whole case of different materials. With services, you can even experiment with your family and friends first to see what their level of interest is before fully implementing a service-oriented business. You can of course also go onto the internet and perform your own research to find out how well different business sectors do. You can also conduct research based on traffic in the area and what the speed limit is to really think about how people will be able to stop by your business and is there adequate parking. This was a quick video on some basics, those three B's, on how to start a business successfully on the right foot with a strong foundation. Be sure to leave a comment below on starting your own business and how did it go or if you're thinking about starting up your business, what type of business you're thinking of starting. 